bathroom and um here we go we're going to do a valentine's day build and you guys see what it's going to kind of look like in the end here this happy v day um and we're going to customize it and pick our own style in 3d um we're going to go to a blank sketch up and start there um and uh the first thing we're going to do is i like to look at it top down i don't like this 3d view so to do top down there's like little buttons and we're going to use sketchup for schools which is the free online sketchup program that I, um anyone can load and there's also if you're not in a school there's a free version for people not in a school as well and you can use this on any browser or chromebook which is nice i'm going to jump to um over here on the right hand side and in this little toolbar there's a scenes button so you're going to click on that and at the top of the scene buttons there's all these little houses okay and so if you're watching at home a tool monitor really works well so you could watch me and do it with me at the same time and then you find this one picture in the middle of all the houses that's like the top down view click on that and you should see the green axes which i like to think of as like the y axes in math going up and down and the right red axis right red is going to be like your x axis did you see that gauge on yours too when you click yeah i got it Okay, good. So now we're going to do, um, it's really hard to draw a heart by hand, freehand. So we're going to use some tricks to do it. And we're going to use two tools. We're going to use the arc tool and we're going to use the polygon tool. First, we're going to use the polygon tool. And so for the polygon tool, um, you're going to go to over here on the left toolbar, and there's a rectangle tool. But if you click on the little arrow, you'll get and expand a bunch of different tools come out. And you're going to want the polygon okay so when you click on that polygon and don't don't position it yet but um if you notice it is um it, how many sides gauge is your polygon the default uh six six sides right so we mm -hmm. we want to do is um make it a pentagon do you know how many sides a pentagon has eight or pentagon. close no. pentagon a octagon is eight yeah five pent five. pent five you're right so we want to make it five sides so on the bottom of the screen do you see somewhere where it says side six you don't have to click there just type okay and then hit enter and did it change to five on your screen now yeah it did Okay, so sometimes if it doesn't, if it thinks you're putting in the distance, you could put 5S, S for sides. But in this case, 5 worked out. So I'm going to click the, the origin as the center of my pentagon, and I'm going to go straight up. And we're going to use the number 2 a lot. Okay, so I'm going to make it 2 feet, and it doesn't matter, you know, if it's, you know, if you have the exact measurement, but I'm just going to do that make it two feet you can make it a different size you can scale it whatever size you want later so we got your pentagon do you got your your pentagon there gauge yeah okay now we're going to do arc so arc tool is over here and there's several different type of arc tools hold on let me go back to arc tool and there we want the one that is a two-point arc this is like the second one so you click on two-point arc and then you're going to click the first point will be you're going to pick, like, if you think of the Pentagon as a house, we're going to go to the roof of the house. We're going to go to the left side of the roof, and we're going to pick the bottom of the roof and the tip point of the roof, and that's our two points. And then it's going to ask you for the third point, defining what size the arc is. And what we're going to do, this is the hard part, you're going to try to do it so that it's a half circle. So kind of move it till you see that SketchUp tells you it's an exact half circle. And then if you get it and it looks really edgy, right? So, ah, oh, I, I, it looks really edgy. Um, so what you can do is not make it so, so I'm gonna start again. I'm gonna show you a different way to make it less edgy. I'm gonna give it more sides because really SketchUp can't make circles or half circles, it makes a bunch of like lines. So if I want it to be less edgy, I can, before I click on the final point while it's still making it, in the bottom it says bulge, but what you can do is you can type in a number for how many lines do you want the circle to have? 
Okay, so I'm going to say like 20 and then put the S. And now when it's 20 S, it's going to look a lot nicer. Going to look like a lot better. And then I'm going to go until I get the half circle. Can I do it? Sometimes you have to play around a little bit until it says half circle, half circle, come on. Did you get it? No, it should, I haven't. It should snap a little bit to it. And sometimes it's difficult. There it is. If you get that snap, do the half circle. Hey, if you can't get it to say half circle, but it looks like a half circle to your eyes, that's good enough. Okay. And do it to the other side. And then I'm going to wait until I get my half circle. There, I got it. Half circle. Okay. <laughs> Now, the next part, there's two ways to do the bottom part of the heart. If you want, you can just draw lines that are straight like that, and that could be your heart, okay? So that's one option is you can just draw straight lines to connect the bottom of your heart. But if you want to be a little fancy, you could use the arc tool again, two-point arc, and click here and give it a slight bulge. So it's a little bit curvy, you know, like maybe like a one inch bulge. And some people think that that looks a little better. I don't know. It's personal preference. Now we're going to erase all the lines we don't want. There's two ways to erase. You can go crazy with the eraser tool. I don't like the eraser tool because sometimes it's not as accurate. I don't know what I'm erasing. I erase the wrong thing. I like to select the item first and then hit the delete button. Select one I want to erase. Yes, delete button. That way I'm sure I wanted to erase it. So off my mouse, I select with my other hand, I hit delete, and then I go around. I'm going to delete those lines that I don't need them, and I go around, and I've got my heart. How you doing, Gage? Did you get a heart? Yeah, I got it. All right, good. So, hey, Gage, do you know this simple, fast shortcut for rotating in SketchUp? I mean, you can rotating your view, not rotating the object. Like, rot So you can go over here and pick the rotate command, mm -hmm. okay? But uh, uh, an easy way is the middle button. So if you cl click on your middle button of your mouse and you move your mouse, you can rotate the view again because now we're about to make it 3D. So I want to rotate a little bit. If you don't want to do that, you can pick one of these, you know, one of these 3D views too, like, and you know, have it show you the 3D view as well, okay? Uh, and, and rotate it. Once you've rotated it, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the push pull tool. And I'm going to push up two inches this time but you could push up whatever you want you i just push up a little bit like that okay so i give my heart a little thickness and now i'm going to do the wall around the heart that makes it a little more fancy using where i go back to the push pull tool on the left menu bar there's another tool called offset that's really handy if you click offset and then you go anywhere along the heart top of the heart surface, doesn't matter where, where it selects the whole surface, and you click once, and then you can click a second time for how much you want to offset it, or you can just type in the actual offset, like I'm going to do two inches, for example, but you can do whatever you want. So I made a heart inside a heart, see that? And now if you want to get, um, now you want to get um, nicer, you don't just want to have that. You want to have it in 3D. So I'm going to go back to the push-pull, and I'm going to push-pull the outer rim, you know, maybe another two inches. I'm going to get something like that. How are we doing? Are we... Uh, Doing well, Gage? Yeah, I got it. Okay, did you get the heart? Okay, so now mm -hmm. we're almost done. We have three more steps. We're going to add text, colors, and pick a style. So this was the hardest steps. The next steps are pretty easy. So um, the first thing we're going to do is um, add the text. 
And you might have to think about your text. So don't worry about it. Just add anything. You can always change it later. You can't edit it, but you can erase it and change it pretty easily. So, but to add the text, you're going to go, I'm going to click on the top view again. So I'm looking straight down on the heart so I can see that it's centered over here. And then I'm going to go to the left-hand side. And I believe it's where the polygon tool was. The same place with the polygon tool, there's a tool called 3D text. So I'm going to click on that. And you could pick any size you want. But if you've been doing the sizes I've told you to do, two feet for the size of the heart, you know, then I like four inches for the height and text extrusion, I like about one inch. But you could play around with those numbers later um, and click OK. Oh, I didn't write anything. Ha ha, I forgot to write my message. So let's try it one more time. So four inch for the height, one inch text extrusion. I'm going to say happy B day for my first line of text and click OK. And then where do you want to place it? So hey, I want to kind of center it. So I'm going to place it on that face and center it as best. And you can always move it around. If you didn't think you centered it right, you can use the move tool over here and you can move it, you know. Also, you can use the move tool and grab one of these red pluses and rotate it. If you want to be fancy and do that, you can do that too. And if you notice, it's right on the face. It's sticking on that bottom face just like I wanted. And we have my our cool happy V-Day. And you can add more text if you want down below. You can select it and hit delete if you want to edit it or... Uh, add uh, different text. But for now, go ahead and just put any text you want just as a placeholder so you can see the rest of the steps gauge. And I'm, we're going to do the coloring. Okay. So the first thing we want to color is the big heart. So we're going to um, go to where you find the colors. It's in this toolbar over the left. And if you click on, I think there's one that's called materials. Okay. And for materials, there's a house. The house has all the in-model materials, but you can search for your own colors by clicking on this search and clicking colors. And then there's a ton of colors you can pick from, you know? So um, let's say I wanted to make it like this pink color. So I can click and click, but now I have to sit and click each single surface and it takes a long time. So I'm gonna show you a quicker way. Before you click the color, I, by the way, to, to get rid of a tool, I always hit escape. So I'm back to the select. I want you to triple click on the heart. That automatically selects everything on the heart. And now when you click on the whatever color you want, you click once and it paints the whole thing, top and bottom and all the sides and everything. So you don't have to go around clicking everything. And if you want a different color for the text, you can click a different color and click on the text. The text is already all one block. So you don't have to triple click on the text. You can just click on it once. Okay. So here's my uh, happy V-Day. But um, hey, I, I think you might notice, Gage, um, it doesn't look nice with this green and background and the red and blue and green lines coming through it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look very professional. So let's clean it up so we can print it out or send it to someone in an email or post it on Instagram or Twitter or whatever you want to do with it. Remember to make it personalized. Don't just say happy V-Day. They think you'll took it off the internet. Put your name, put someone else's name so it looks like you made it just for them. Make it personalized. But when you're ready to export it, before you do it, um, let's get rid of it. Let's clean up the image some. And one way to do it is you go to, at the bottom here where it says display, it looks like the little glasses. And I'm going to take off axes so the axes don't show, right? And that's one way to clean up the picture. And if you're like, hey, I'm good, that looks great. But I don't like the green background. I don't want this green background. So if you want to change the background, you go up to something called um, Styles. So let me go up to Styles. It's on the right-hand side underneath the little checkerboard cube. And for Styles, you can edit the style or you can pick a style that someone has already created. Like if I go to Default Styles, and I say, hey, I want it just to be without the, the, the white background. So you can click on one of these. Um, but it brings back the axes, and I don't like that. So then you don't have to go back and turn off the axes if I want. Or I can pick some really cool ones. They have really cool visual ones like this, watch, that look like you drew it. See? Looks like you hand drew that now. And so some people might like that effect. There's lots of different effects that change the color 
or make it look different that you can pick. And once you get the effect that you like for your um, heart-shaped Valentine and you're ready to export it, you can just go export. You can export it as a graphic or a STL file, which is what 3D printers use. So you can actually 3D print it um, and order it online. There's places that will 3D print it for you um, and give it to that special someone. If you just want to print it, you can print it too, or you can do a screen capture of what you want as a quick way to put it in something and to paste it. And that's how you do your Valentine's. Hey, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to stop the recording.